who was the leader? Who was, uh, who was the boss of the gang, of the cult? At home, it was my nan. Your nan uh, made you have sex with animals? Yeah. Um, like goats and donkeys. How many men or how many people would have sex with you? Well, at one time. Yes. About everyone who was there, which must have been about 20. You know, from 10 to 20 people. If it was a, a big ceremony, it used to be 30. What would your grandma be doing uh, when these men were forcing themselves on you? Usually laughing. Or smiling. Or having sex with another man. Or other men. A chronicle of debauchery and depravity so horrific it's hard to believe. You have to ask yourself, could Teresa be just making it up? No. I know what's true and what's not. No, I know what I saw. This couldn't be a terrible dream, a nightmare that you're reliving? No. It's no dream. It's a nightmare, but it's it's not one you can wake up from. It's there all the time. This really happened, you're quite sure of that? Yeah. During these ceremonies, was Satan, the devil, ever referred to? He was called Lucifer. Um. What did they say about the devil, about Lucifer? That um, killing the people made him happy. Sacrifices to please the devil. According to Teresa, the worst rituals took place at a house somewhere in the country. It was big, you know, expensive. From the front, it looked like a castle. You know, it had a long drive and big double wooden doors. Do you think they were rich people then? Very rich. There was a tramp who was brought in once, you know, and he was killed. He was cut from his throat down to his stomach. And that they... They ate him, or bits of him. They killed a man at a ceremony? Yeah. In front of you? Yeah, in front of all of, the, all of us. Did the tramp... Did this man uh, fight back? No, I think he was, you know, drunk or something. He seemed really dopey. He was laughing a lot when he was brought in. And he started screaming when they began to cut. But after a while, you know, he died. I'd seen a few killings before then. Although I wasn't used to it, it, you know, that was the worst one. I really don't know what I thought. I suppose I thought, thank God it's not me. Let me get this right now. Uh, are you saying that you saw more than one person killed in that house? Yeah. I've seen um, loads of babies killed there. Just newborn babies or aborted ones, which were only small. You know, four-year-olds. Any age, really. Did they ever say they might kill you? Uh, they threatened to kill my little girl, who, when I left, was still at the house. A friend? Huh? What little girl? My little girl, Alex. She's about four now. You mean you had a child? Yeah. How old were you when you had that child? Eleven. Mm. Motherhood? What would happen uh, to the fetuses, the unborn babies? 
I used to be taken away most of the time and one time baby was taken out of me and then killed in front of me because it was still alive. And then uh, what would happen? Well, after they killed it, they would eat it. Well, we were also made to eat it. You were made to eat your own fetus? Yeah. Who made you do this? My nan. Did you ever try to, to run away? You must have been, must have been frightened. A couple of times I did, but my uncle, he caught me and brought me back. Going to the police? Did that occur to you? No. No. I thought it was normal, you know, even though I didn't like it. It was never any different. I didn't have nothing to compare it to. They had um, a tub, you know, pretty big, I don't know. A very big tub and they used to put the bodies and bones in there. And then there was nothing left. Well, there didn't seem to be, but when they cleared it out, there used to be a sludge at the bottom. I also witnessed a nine-day-old baby being slaughtered for human sacrifice. Audrey Harper. She spent five years in a satanic cult before she escaped. Why did they kill that baby? Why sacrifice a child? Um, Satan likes pure sacrifice and human sacrifice is better than animal sacrifice, so they are pleasing the master. The warlock, the master, just raped me. He's the high priest of the, the coven. Married to the devil, uh, is that what it meant? Yes, only, the, only, you know, there's no ceremony. But the act of unity completes my initiation ceremony. I now belong mind, body and soul to Satan. Married to the devil, a consistent pattern it seems. Audrey, when she was 22, Teresa, when she was a little girl. They used to um, um, marry the kids to Lucifer. So that um, we were part of him, you know, we were his. Did that include you? Were you married to the devil? Uh, yeah. Um, we used to be, and it was just like a marriage in a church, but different words, you know. Uh, what were you taught about Lucifer? Just that we should, you know, be his friend, treat him as a friend. And that he's always there if we ever need him. Why do they do such uh, wicked things in these covens? Because they're pleasing Satan. The lower you become, the more vile you become, the more pleased Satan is with you, and therefore the more power you'll get when you die. And they believe this? They believe it. They absolutely believe it.